Well, my family just left for work and for school, so they made the mistake of leaving me by myself. That means I got the whole day to get in trouble in the shop. <laughs> uh, I got a few things I want to work on. I, I need to finish up my Route 66 pins. I owe them the last two pins. They got me the bottle caps. So I'm going to start working on those this morning, get them ready to go, and um, then I need to work on a video for that pin I, I teased about the other day. I, I pretty well planned on doing a video, but I thought I'd have a little fun and just see what kind of interaction I'd get. And it was an overwhelming yes, we, <laughs> we want to see a video. So we're going to work on that today. I'll uh, keep you guys posted throughout the day. Hey, everybody. Uh, it's been a fun day. It is now quarter after one. I started about seven this morning. <laughs> so it's been a busy day. But it was really a... The, what I did this morning is I went out and I cast two additional blanks. I told you I got the other two bottle caps from Route 66. And let me get a hold of them here. And I cast them. They came out perfect. Take a look at them. They're not sticky. They're not tacky. They're fully cured. Um, what I did is... And don't tell my wife... <laughs> because uh, I built this garage when we built this house and the idea was so this, this is the shop all of my shop stuff stays in here and uh, not the other garage not the house it, this is it for me well it's so cold out here I couldn't get a decent cast so <clears throat> right after my wife left I had my alumalite in the house I had it sitting on a furnace vent along with one of my molds I carried my pressure pot in, I carried all of my supplies in, you know, my molding mat so that I wouldn't make a mess or anything, my scale, everything that I needed. I carried into the laundry room and I let it sit there for a little while while I went ahead and finished preparing those blanks. I had to grind, you know, grind the corners off of them so they were round and I had to flatten them and bend them around the tubes and I got all that done. And then I went in the house and I put them in the mold and by that time the, 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 the casing, the mold, the, I'm sorry, the uh, pot was warm because it had been sitting in the house in the laundry room, which is nice and warm. And uh, I went ahead and right on the washing machine, I spread out my mat. I got a, I got a, a silicone mat and I mixed up my Alumalite. I poured it. I put it in the pressure pot. I pulled the old holes in through, <laughs> through the door because you enter our laundry room right from the garage. Pumped it up to 40 PSI. And I set my alarm for three hours. Three hours later, the alarm went off, but I really was in the middle of something. So I just let it go. It was probably in there for three and a half, maybe four hours. Uh, I went in for lunch. I popped the top on the uh, pressure pot. The molds were beautiful. No bubbles, hard as a rock, absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to let them set for a couple days and uh, finish curing. And then I'm going to get them turned and get those shipped off to Route 66 because they have been so wonderful and been so patient with me. And I told, I told him up front, I was honest. I said, I'll do these. I said, but, uh, you know, it's going to take me a little bit of time because I got to get some casting equipment. I got to learn how to cast. There were so many variables in there. I had a show coming up I had to get ready for. They were super, super. Laura over there is who I'm working with. Super understanding, super wonderful. Has been following along, liking my post really excited about the ones I've made. So I'm anxious to get those in the mail to them. And I'm hoping, I, I want to give it a couple days to, fit, to make sure it's fully cured. So maybe, maybe by uh, Sunday or so, this is Friday, so maybe in two days, I'll try to get those turned so that Monday, maybe I can get them in the mail to them. That'd be cool if I could get them to them by Christmas. That'd be awesome. But in my downtime, <laughs> while I was waiting for the casting to uh, set up, I turned a pin. I don't know if you can see that. Let me turn this way a little bit. Look at that. I went ahead and made another one, and it's got the finial on the end. It's got the rings, and the uh, lower half of the pin slides into the upper half. And I recorded every step of this one. So, you guys are going to have a video coming. Uh, I know I've already got a video uploaded for Tuesday. Um, so I probably won't have it between now and then. I think what I'll do is during the week here, I'll get it updated, or uh, I'm sorry, uh, edited and uploaded. And I think this will be next Friday's video. So if you're interested in this at all, keep your eyes open next Friday, 8 a.m. Central Time. That video should drop, uh, barring no major catastrophes. So keep your fingers crossed as well. <laughs> I want to get back, back to work. Um, I'm just going to goof around for a little bit. I got a couple of things I want to try and uh, let's see what kind of trouble I can get into. I'll keep you guys posted. Well, everybody, I'm getting ready to call it a day. I uh, did a few more odds and ends. Um, I don't know if I showed you this or not, but I'll go ahead and, and do it again. There are the blanks that I did the other day out of the pressure pot. And remember, I took them in the house and they the bubbles reappeared in them. Uh, I sanded them down to the level of the tube and I filled all of the bubble holes on top with CA glue. Now I'll flip them over and do the other side. Most of the bubbles on the surface there that you see are, are 
well, actually are close to the surface. They're not near the tube. This was the very first blank I ever cast, and you remember the resin ran into the tube? Uh, I have filled it with CA. Uh, there's no line of delineation. You can't see it, so it's going to take a while for all that CA to dry, but once it does, I think I'll be able to turn that blank, and I think it'll look pretty good. Then I went back, and I pulled a few more bottle caps. I got some Cheerwine, some Jones, some Boylan's, uh, some Kickapoo, a little Stewart's down here, some Dang Root Beer. And I cleaned up those caps and uh, got them bent around tubes. I have selected, they're in piles. You notice how they were kind of stacked oddly. Um, that's because there are paint cans, or paint, the spray cans that were sitting on the table. And I lined them up with the, the color paint that I want to use. And then I carried all my paint in the house so that it can sit in the house overnight and acclimate to the house temperature. Tomorrow I'll bring it out, shake it up, and spray, uh, spray my tubes, let them dry, and then I'll be able to cast some more. Um, I think... I'm going to have these ready to go. They'll be spray painted and ready to go, but I'm going to hold off on casting them for a little bit because uh, someone contacted me about doing a little bit of uh, casting for them. They wanted some specific uh, bottle caps cast, and I, I'd been contacted before, and I hadn't really um, agreed to do it because I didn't know enough about it. I was still too new at it, but now that I've had a chance you know, to get a little bit more experience, um, I'm going to make three bottle cap blanks for this person part of the deal was they had to send me the bottle caps because I, I didn't I don't have them I don't drink a lot of sodas uh, other than the specialty ones uh, and I just didn't have the soda caps they needed there have been some other people that have contacted me and um, if they want to holler at me again I'm going to look back and if I can find your name I'll get back in touch with you if you want to holler at me again I'll be glad to shoot you a price what I what I'm going to charge to make them uh, the deal will usually be um I'll ask you to send me the caps because caps, you know, they're they're tough to come by I, since I don't drink the sodas. So you'll have to send me, you know, if you want a Coca-Cola, you'll have to send me the Coca-Cola cap that you want. And then uh, I'll cast it and, and I'll charge you a couple of two, three dollars to ship it back to you. And uh, uh, then I'll charge you a fee to uh, actually, uh, you've seen what I go through, cut it, grind it, smash it, bend it you know, put it in resin. So it, it, it's a pretty lengthy process. So I have a little bit of a fee I'll charge for that. But so if you're interested in it, you know, you can holler at me. I'll be glad to make you a blank. Um, other than that, I'm calling it a night. I'm going in. I'm going to take it easy. My 66 blanks today are perfect. I am so happy about that. I'm going to give them a couple days to dry. We're going to turn them. Uh, I got a, I finished up a keychain. This keychain, let me show this to you. I made this keychain for a friend of mine. Well, actually, he bought it from me at a show. It's Coca Bolo. It's beautiful. I made it for him three, four years ago. And um, being on his key ring, it had gotten beat up pretty bad. And he said, man, you know, I really, really hate that it's so beat up. And I said, well, mail it to me. I'll fix it for you. So he mailed it off to me, and I put it on the lathe and, and micro-meshed all of the CA off and uh, put uh, about eight more coats on and buffed it up. And, man, it, it looks amazing. So I'm pretty excited. I sent him a photo of it. Let me send it back to him here in the next few days. Uh, wow. That's about all I got. I'll let you guys go. Take her easy. And I will talk to you again very, very soon. Hopefully tomorrow.